what should you do when your cruise goes from this to this? The one thing I hate about cruise ships is rough seas. Now trust me, I've had my fair share of rough seas when I was travelling most of the time in South China Sea. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to handle rough seas. So we are currently crossing over from New Zealand over to Australia and this morning the captain made an announcement to warn us about inclement weather that's coming up at 5pm. He said that there will be like 20 feet of swell at the same time 50 knots of wind which accounts to around 90 kilometers per hour. So tip number one, always listen to announcements. It will give you invaluable information. Tip number two, knowing the size and age of your ship. If it's small and old, chances are it will have an older stabilization technology. Now, if it's big and new, it will have like better technology in terms of stabilization. So here's a brief explanation of how cruise ship stabilization works. Ta -da! <laughs> There will be two fins that will stick out from the middle of the ship and it will tilt like this up and down, this way, okay, like that. Depending on what how the current is, to try and keep the ship as straight as possible like that. If you want to know more details about how cruise ship stabilization works, you can go check out this video which I will link in the description below. Tip number three, get your supplies ready. Now, cruise ships do sell seasick pills and seasick bands and all that kind of stuff, but it's always better to get them before you embark so that you are always ready. Other things that might make you feel better during rough seas are things like bread rolls, bread sticks, cakes, lemonade, green apple, some fruits. These are the things that will kind of make you feel better. At least they work for me. If you are feeling really seasick, then what I will advise you to do is to just stay in your cabin, lie down, have some seasick pills and watch some TV and just chill. With all that said, not everyone is affected by rough seas. Some of them don't feel a thing at all. It just may be a bit wobbly but they just carry on as though nothing has happened. If you are the latter group, then of course, hold on to your glasses so they don't slide away from the table. <laughs> all in all, I say learn to embrace it. It is all part and parcel of being on a cruise ship. And uh, you know, after the bad weather, you will have beautiful views and a story to tell. Let me know in the comments below what has helped you, what tips and tricks have helped you in times of bad weather or rough seas. I would like to learn more and see what kind of tips and tricks you have. Thank you for watching, you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.